What's up guys, King in the North here, back with some more Deadly Days. Last episode, we finished things up on our challenge run. Uh, we did pull off a victory. I believe that these are going to unlock every uh, completion, I'm assuming, since there's only 15 of them and there was no XP at the end. We do have a win streak of four currently. Uh, we'll see how much longer that'll last for. Um, but with this modifier, we're about to find 15% less scrap. I think my switch is running a little sluggish lately. Murderer with us and party animal. Okay, <laughs> I was like, is that a doctor? Ugh, our base item is a handheld. I mean, it's very, it's very situational. Uh, teleport all survivors to the bus. That's not bad. That's uh, pretty useful. Allows us to stay on the further side of the map for longer periods of time, obviously, since we don't have to run back, so that could come in useful. But anyway, let us pick our first mission here. Not a whole lot of options. I think I'm going to go with the airdrop just because there's more loot here. We need weapons. Absolutely need weapons. Uh, there's an apple tree here. We have houses, cars, and of course, our airdrop. Okay, we found our apple tree. Keep an eye out for houses, obviously. All right, here we go. There's our airdrop. Oh, I backed out of our looting. Please be a gun. We need firearms. Uh, sledgehammer is not going to do it for us. But a grenade launcher will. I'll take that. And a machine gun? Okay. Very nice pickup early on here. I do like that. That is an explosive barrel. Make sure I stay away from both of those. Uh, we, I gotta keep in mind we are finding less scrap. Level up so that guy gets a damage boost temporarily. Uh, it's been a little while since I recorded one of these, so I apologize, guys. Uh, just a lot going on. Uh, and I do have other projects I've been working on. I've been doing a lot of Pokemon cards. If you're into that, check out those videos. I'm gonna try out our teleport ability here. Okay, it seems that the survivors have to be out in the open for the teleport to work. Well, we have weapons to work with, which is very nice to see. We, are, we did get a purple machine gun. Very nice. We'll swap out this pistol for an M16. I do want to hold on to... I'm not going to sell... I know everybody is on me about selling everything, but I don't want to sell the rocket launcher just yet. Uh, so that's why I'm not selling all the normals. <clears throat> Uh, not a whole lot going on, so let's just move on to the next one. We have a supermarket with a lot of loot. We will be going here, get some food. But yeah, guys, as I said, I've been working on some other projects, so I, proj I apologize for the delay getting these out. I've uh, been doing Pokemon cards. Bomb has been doing some lost runs for Isaac. Uh, that is a... 
Isaac's a rogue like game if you are not familiar with Isaac. I imagine everybody is familiar with Isaac though. But, uh, it's been a fun series to follow along to. He's doing a pretty good job with playing as a character that dies on contact. Obviously after it loses its holy mantle or whatever, but still quite the challenge. Alright, we have to find the supermarket here. Decent weapons, so I'm not gonna go crazy. All right, there we go. I said I'm not gonna go crazy with trying to loot everything. We do gotta get somebody to a the supermarket here, though. Loot this building. I do plan on using this teleport, uh, this maximum ability here. Strikes. All right, it's nighttime, which is uh, never a good sign. Uh, and we are only halfway through the supermarket right now. I'm gonna get the bus started. He's gonna level up. He's gonna get some damage upgrade for his level up because of the Game Boy that we have. Looks like we're almost done looting the supermarket here. As soon as he comes out, I am going to activate the teleport. Here they both go. And we're out of here. Uh, I've never gone out of my way to activate this item, but I gotta be honest with you, it feels good. This ability feels good. We're up to 21 food at 100 scrap, which is pretty good considering we are receiving less scrap. Not, I don't want to sell those weapons yet. Let's do let's do the rescue. Let's get a th let's get a third. And we are roadblocked already here. Zoom out. We have an apple tree, houses, survivors, and cars. Uh, I am working with a new microphone, so um. If anybody's experiencing uh, any audio issues while watching this, please shout me out. Let me know. I think I've worked out a lot of the issues I was having. A purple AK is very nice. And you know, a lot of people tend to watch these uh, the Deadly Days videos, so uh, that's what I'd like to get some feedback on the audio. You guys have been super supportive of everything so far, so just let me know how, how things are sounding. We are going to get our survivor here. It looks like we've... Oh, we got a, a non-marked house here. Which was pointed out by a viewer that these tend to give special items. So always grab these. Got an auto sniper, which I probably will give to our new actually get that purple AK. Uh well, it could be beneficial to give the grenade launcher as well. And the only reason I say that is because our last run we had a bunch of fast shooting weapons and nothing with cleave or AoE damage. And that was severely missed in the last mission. So I do want to try to keep that in mind. This is a level 4, AK is a level 1. I'm going to I'm going to use the sniper for now. Upgrade that. Uh, I do want to hold on to these weapons in case we get another survivor. At least we have something 
decent to give them. Um, I'm gonna stick with the strategy of keeping things easy on us for now. I'm not gonna push any map missions yet. I'm gonna hold off on that. Okay, we have a supermarket vending machines, houses and cars. Absolutely want to find that vending machine. We have uh, plenty of scrap seeds up at the moment. We're going to get somebody in there and start looting that. We do need to try and find a that vending machine. We have a decent amount of scrap. I haven't been using that on anything. I kind of wish I was able to sell the weapons that we have been picking up. But uh, like I said, that some of them are decent situations, so we got a bicycle helmet. I think that's a defense up for our base item or something. I'm gonna loot this since we're walking right by it. Get some extra scrap here. One scrap for doing that car. Just trying to find our vending machine at the moment, right here. Ooh! The funnel is always nice. Here's all survivors in the map. See, that's okay. I don't know what enough distance means, though. We are going to grab the funnel. We're absolutely grabbing the funnel. Um, going to hold off on now for the other ones for now. I don't want to spend scrap that we don't need to spend. Alright, so there's a... there's a... the two hell. Alright, so we got everything. Everything's done. Uh... We'll beat up there. Teleport. Right to the bus, and we're in. So, now that we have the funnel, we need to get a active ability that's actually going to be uh, useful for that, so I'm not going to go out of my way to try to equip the green funnel just yet. But the bicycle helmet uh, increases max HP. It's nice, but um, not uh, like groundbreaking by any means. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the weapons we do have. Obviously, we have these now because we picked up two tools. Let's go for another rescue mission. 28 food's pretty good as long as we stay on top of that. Uh, the reason why I want to pick up another survivor now is because we did start seeing special zombies. So um, our survivor's already right here. Uh, they leveled up, so they get a damage upgrade. And of course, the special zombie we have is the one that is very dangerous to run off by yourself with. It does grab you. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. We have two marked houses. it up for this map. I was kind of hoping we'd get at least at least cars. Jeez. I knew we were supposed to find less scrap, but we're getting really stingy by not giving us anything to get scrap. Uh, I do want to keep these guys out a little bit longer just to see if we can obtain a little bit more XP. I want to keep them in one spot because party animal here does throw down a fountain, which I believe gives us increased damage or crit chance. 
so this is obviously a good opportunity to get more XP. Pop our teleport here. Get on out of here now that it's getting dark. see what's on the agenda here. We have a hardware store. We're going to go to that hardware store, actually. If we could start unlocking some rooms, especially the one that gives us scrap, that would help us greatly. Immediately going to loot this building. Pause. We have a the hardware store. We have a vending machine. The 158 scrap, if it is a scrap vending machine. Uh, five houses, six cars. Loot all these cars as we go along to give ourselves a little bit of extra scrap if we find that vending machine. Okay, found the hardware store. We do need to get into the hardware store. Uh, there is a hospital sign here, so we are going to be getting a hospital next mission, which is, in my opinion, some of the better missions to get. Because they do offer an ability or base item, along with some food. We found our vending machine, which is nice to see. Okay, what do we have here? Your survivors heal slowly. That is not a bad pickup. I still don't know if the mines can hurt you. If anybody knows for sure, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna pass on this for now because I don't know. I don't want to spend 58. I, I would assume that the mines don't hurt you, but if they trigger other explosions, that can. I am going to grab this. Uh, I did notice on our last challenge run that there is a lot more damage that is capable of going out, so any kind of passive heals that we can get is very helpful. Just about done at the hardware store here. Start the bus up. Get everyone together. And teleport. Oh my god. Something burst over there. And that's what I mean by having passive heals being beneficial. Okay. I'm going to unlock a base slot here. I'm going to give us the syringe. We still don't have another special power, but we might pick it up with the hospital mission we're about to do. We're going to go for the scrap. Having scrap generate every day is super helpful. And I think we're kind of getting to a point where these are losing their relevance, so we're going to sell all of those. If 22 food, I gotta stay on top of healing as soon as we get out here. We should be okay, health wise. Uh, we are going to do the hospital, like I said, because there's a good chance for food, a base item or active item from the hospital. Search begin. We have a hospital, houses, and cars. So no uh, special pickups here. We are going to camp out front here. Hopefully get these guys taken out. Do not blow up my, my new guys. 
But yeah, so you see the passive heal proccing there, which was nice. Get everybody uh, back into green. Just uh, roaming the streets here to see what we can find. Loot that building. Don't want to leave anything un unturned here. The car. Loot that garage here. Could get a tool. around the front of the hospital here and make sure this guy gets out safely. Okay, uh, all invincible. Um, that might be worth putting in the first slot with the green funnel. So this is the equip, uh, equivalent to like the Mar uh, Super Mario Star. Shotgun's not bad. I'll hold on to that for now. It's 90 scrap to unlock a slot here. What is it going to cost us for a 90 for that as well? We'll hold on to the 90 scrap for now, but at least we have invincibility. Cluster of vending machines here. It's a small map and we can add, let's go for it. Uh, not as high on food that I, as much as I'd like right now. But uh, adding another survivor shouldn't be too bad. On our vending machines. Uh, the vending machines is really what turned me to come here. I know we don't have a whole lot of scrap, but even if we can pull off like a decent base item. That beautiful looking railgun. Okay, found common and uncommon weapons have one modifier. Ugh. What do we have here? Tools. Fire damage is doubled against zombies. It'd be kind of nice if we had a flamethrower. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. Uh, I know we already have a funnel, but having two spots if it gets to it, it it's nice it's nice prep work. Need to see if we can find this other survivor. Wow, this is a very long map. Uh, this is a special bait, uh, house here. This was uh, a little bit more efficient at accuracy. Uh, let's start our bus hop invincibility. And use our teleport to get out of here. Uh, 
Uh, we picked up Explosive Outburst. That's not bad. Uh, we got the baby. I call him baby. He looks like a baby. Uh, I'm going to give him the shotgun. We have the two funnels for now. So, we have the starts of something pretty decent here. We do need to start getting our hands on some food and some better weapons. We are going to start falling behind on damage here. Uh, but we do have a good build going. Next episode, however, we will be going to the supermarket to get ourselves some more food. We get topped off. So for now, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all on our next adventure. Peace.